The big story is the warm weather, obviously in January. It's supposed to be the coldest part of the year. <laughs> right. I mean, the middle of January, typically for Baltimore, climatologically speaking, is the coldest part of the winter. The average high temperature right now is 43 degrees, and that's as cold as it gets for us here in Baltimore. And what you're looking at now is a plot of the high temperatures up until this point all the way through tomorrow or yesterday. And you can see all of the high temperatures, except for Saturday, have been way above normal. The peak being January 3rd, where it almost hit 70 degrees. As we head through the rest of the month, I suspect we're going to see a little more activity below that line. I do think it's going to cool off over the next several days. And by the end of the month, it'll feel normal. And this time of the year, all you need is normal cold to get it to snow. It doesn't have to be extreme cold. It was really cold in December. It was the first month since uh, 2017 December that we've had below normal temperatures and we got no snow. So being cold doesn't necessarily mean it's going to snow, but that's the first ingredient you need to make it snow. So let's take a look at our jet stream forecast, see what's going to happen as we head into the weekend. And you can see on Saturday, some cold air finally does make it down into the Baltimore metro. There's a chance that maybe early next week something will pop up in the snow department. Tom's going to talk about that in a moment. Let's take it all the way through the end of the month now, and you'll see a brief warm up there. But by the time we get to the 25th, 26th, another shot of cold air comes in as we head towards the beginning of February. So all of you winter weather fans and snow fans, there is some hope once we go through the next 10 days or two weeks. But in the short term, it's going to stay rather mild.